Hey friends, tonight I want to talk to you about why so many of you are always under the attack. You just, no matter what you do, it just feels like bad luck comes your way and you just can't get a good breakthrough and you know, it's just bad news after bad news. It's just always coming after you. Um, and I'm sitting here in my garden tonight because uh, the word that God spoke to me happened while I was here in my garden. You see, one thing that I didn't anticipate about having a garden was that my garden would always be under the attack. So if it wasn't caterpillars, then it's some unknown bug that I could never figure out what it was. And if it wasn't that unknown bug, then it's this new thing that's been attacking my plants or aphids. You see, aphids are really bad for a garden because they will eat all of the new growth so that you never reap a harvest. You never see the growth of your plants. Like they literally destroy your plant from growing. And so I tried to go and buy, well, I bought some ladybugs and I was hoping that that would help, but unfortunately they all flew away. I was so sad. And so tonight um, I tr was trying a new method where you literally just hose them off with really heavy water. And so as I'm hosing them off, uh, the aphids are actually falling off and my plants look a lot better tonight than they did earlier this morning. And that really spoke to me because I thought, wow, how many people are under the attack all because they're not spending time with the living water? You see in the Bible, Jesus refers to himself as living water. And maybe some of you, you are being plagued with anxiety and plagued with fear and depression. And all of these things are coming your way, anger and lust. And you just can't seem to get a breakthrough because you're not spending time in the presence of God. You're not reading the word. His living water isn't washing you clean of, of the attack of the enemy. And so you're under this constant attack. And so tonight, I just really want to encourage you and I want to challenge you to get into the presence of God every single day. Like don't go one day without reading the word of God. Don't go one day without praying and without worshiping because you need God to get you through the attack. See, God has not created you to be a victim. No, when Jesus died on the cross, he called you to be victorious in him. And that is what you are called to be, is a victor. And maybe if you're watching this tonight and you're like, okay, well, I always spend time in the presence of God, yet right now I'm under an attack. Well, then I have a word for you. Because, see, God is going to use you so greatly that the enemy is trying to stop you in your tracks. But Galatians 6, 9 says, let us not grow weary while doing good for at the proper time. You will reap a harvest if you do not give up. So if you're under the attack today, but you're already seeking God on a daily basis, good job. Keep going. Keep pressing through. If you do not give up, you will see the fruit of your labor. So friends, keep going. And remember, we need Jesus in this life. We need God's presence. So keep seeking him because you are going to overcome every battle that you are facing. God is going to transform your life. He's going to set you free from those addictions. And he is going to bless your life with peace, with joy, and with overflow. You are going to walk in an abundant life because that is what Jesus has in store for you. So seek him on a daily basis and watch miracles happen in your life. I love you, friends, and I pray that this word has blessed you.